Hi, uh, welcome to another summer of Good EBS video. Uh, today I want to show you how to um, configure your um, your Oracle identity and access management. Um, so basically, it's going to be uh, there are five steps to uh, basically just configuring YM. Uh, the first one is you have to, of course, install your. So one is install Oracle database. I'm gonna I'm gonna install uh, 11G R2. Uh, second step is you have to um, install WebLogic Server. So install WebLogic Server, and the version of WebLogic Server that uh, we'll be using is 10.3.6. Uh, Next, you have to install. I'll see you. So when you get to the Oracle page, um, basically it's gonna be it's gonna be part of the SOA suite, um, um, you know, download. So you just have to uh, make sure you have uh, I'll see you, and that stands for repository creation utility. Okay, fourth. I'm going to install my SOA suite. So sweet. Um, again, in terms of the version, um, it's gonna be eleven. The, the the latest version that that you have available is eleven G. Uh, one, but basically. Again, if you do install it, it's going to be compatible with the database, so that's not something to worry about. And and I and I think and that should be it. And then last would be just um, configuration for for OIM. Okay, so the first thing you have to do is you have to install uh, Oracle database. So I'm going to minimize this. Um, I'm going to go to my to where I have my um, my downloads. <coughs> so this is where I have my uh, my my um, setup that ESC file for um, for Oracle Eleven G R two. So I want to boot it up. And so basically, it's just going to be a it's just going to be a regular install. Um, and basically, and one of the things you should do is to try to see if you can get Enterprise Manager working, uh, because you will need it um, in 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 some of the later steps. So, Yes, you want to continue. <coughs> and again, so this is just a regular, a regular uh, database installation. Uh, Creating configure database. So next, desktop class. Next. Okay, uh, so when you get to this page again, just make sure that you have the um, that you have that you know what, what the paths are for your Oracle base and uh, and your Oracle home, yourself, or your your your, your uh, Oracle home um, um, directory. Also, make sure you you, you know you 
uh, again just basic thing just remember your um your go diver's name and basic engine and then go on with the installation so i'm going to close this for now i'm not going to install another uh, database so this is what my what my path is for my database so it's the app and i have an installing product so db home one my database is actually name my database is uh v11g2 home one so that's my um version 11g2 and my this is my first cell phone home so it's home one so basically um so this is uh you know the very first thing you have to do in terms of uh, configuring oim thanks a lot for watching and i'll just see you guys again